All right. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, and we are grateful to God that we have life in us. Thank you, wherever you're joining in from, either on Zoom or you are on YouTube. We want to especially say thank you and welcome you to this, to yet another special edition of the Cook School with Salad Master. Now, uh, by the way, this show is proudly sponsored by Salad Master, your healthy cooking system that ensures that we retain approximately 93% nutrients in the food. It's been an amazing month. We've had several sessions already this month, and today's show promises to be exciting and interesting, also very, very informative. We want to thank you wherever you're joining us from uh, all around the world and all around Africa and, of course, in Nigeria and, of course, Lagos. Yeah, Lagos, of course. Thank you so much. Um, in the studio, I have Chef Jessica, of course, and we're going to have the nutritionist. We're going to have the nutritionist today. Wow, I can see live pictures coming through. They are looking sharp, energetic. They are looking healthy and they are ready to go. So without wasting any time, I'm just going to bring them up. But before I bring them up, let me just say that we're streaming live on YouTube. And this is an interactive session. You can ask all your questions using the Q&A button on the top of your screen for most devices. Or you can use the chat to send in your comments. Thank you again. We're going to have lots of fun today. I'm super excited. Without wasting time, I'm going to hand us now to the capable hands of nutritionist and Chef Jessica. Over to you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you, Mr. Marvel. Thank you very much. You guys look amazing. Over to you now. How are we today? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so thank much. You. Hello, 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 Africa. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, Excel region. Good morning, Lagos. Good morning, Salad Master. And we are here again on another interesting episode on our virtual healthy cooking show. Okay, and don't forget we're in Lagos, Nigeria, Victoria Island office, Excel region. Guys, it's so amazing to be here. And obviously, I'm not here alone. I'm with the one and only, the best chef in the world, yeah, in person, yeah, of yeah, Chef yeah. Jessica. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning, the world. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, Salad Master. And good morning, Elzel Region. Good morning, Elzel Region. Happy weekend to you exactly. all. I hope you all are having a fantastic time. Exactly. Thank you so much, yeah. Jessica. Thank you so much, Salad Master, for actually sponsoring this program. Thank you, really appreciate you. Now, this virtual LV cooking show has been partly sponsored by Salad Master. And then the idea is to share with everyone how to retain the medicine in our food, how to retain about 93% of the medicine in our food, how to make sure that we use our food to prevent, manage, and reverse different lifestyle diseases that are on the increase today, ranging from cancer, diabetes, stroke, blood pressure, and the whole life. Now, the idea is that we are using our own Nigerian cuisine our own Nigerian recipes yeah. to go about all of this. We've been through different parts of Nigeria from time past. If you have been following and watching, we've been to the north, we've been to the east, we've been to the west. In fact, Chancesco, where haven't we gone? Oh, we have gone almost oh, everywhere. Oh, okay. We have gone almost yeah. everywhere. So today, we have a spectacular, amazing menu for you today. So before we talk about the menu, where are we going to first? Like just, is there a particular state we are going yes, to Nigeria? This morning, we are going straight up to south, uh, southern part of Nigeria. Southern part of Nigeria. And there you go. All my southern parts. Where, yeah. where, where are all the southern parts? All the southern, like Delta. Delta. Like Bayelsa. Bayelsa and the likes. Okay, guys, we're coming to that place now. So what are the recipes? What do we have in today's menu? Uh, today's menu, I'm excited because this is a very unique dish. Mm, very yeah. unique. Can yeah, you hear very that? Unique. Very unique. So to this morning, I'm going to be, or rather we are going to be making on on on. On on no. Oh my God. Interesting. On on dish with fresh fish stew. You can eat it with anything you want, but anything. I prefer to eat it with fresh fish stew. Oh, wow. Interesting. You won't believe that is my first time of hearing on on on. <laughs> yeah, interesting. I like the name on on on. Okay. So we're making frying on 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 for us today. What else are we making today? Then we are going to be making a baked donut. We are going to be baking donut with the electric skillet. Wow. We are going to be baking donut. You know, normally we would 
fried donuts yes, dipped in oil. oil. But this time around, we are baking the donuts with our electric skillet. In yeah. Nigeria, we call it the good boy. Yeah. In Nigeria, we call it the good boy. Yeah. Okay, you know yeah, what? Yeah. I can't wait. I'm super duper excited. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what the on -on -on looks like or how we bake our donuts without oil or fry uh -huh. our donuts without oil. The yeah. idea is to do without oil. Okay, so over to you, Francesca. All right, all right. So frankly, I have to wash my hands with soap and clean water. Yes, yeah, so Francesca has to wash her hands with soap and clean water. You know, the idea is you are in the kitchen and you want to be clean for hygiene purpose. Now for us, your kitchen should be your cleaning. Exactly. And then your food should be your medicine. So when a doctor is about going to the theater, perform a surgery, they make sure that their hands are what are sterile and clean before they go into the surgery. So this time around, Jessica is about going into the surgery now. That's why she's like cleaning exactly. her hands basically. All right then. Clean, I've washed my hands already. So now quickly, I have to introduce the recipes for the honor. Now we are going to yeah. see the recipes it's for the we have for the honor. Yeah. So the recipes for the honor mm -hmm. are most likely we use a very ripe plantain. Very ripe plantain. Very ripe plantain. Wow, okay. Oh, no, no. So I can see our plantain. Viewers, mm -hmm. can you see our plantain? Our plantain. Fantastic. Plantain. Then we are using yam. We have a yam. Mm -hmm. oh, we are going to be using yam for onono. Yam for onono. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So this is it. Then we'll be using, normally you put palm or you boil. I'm just, I decide to use a fresh uh, red bell scotch bonnet. Okay. And red bell pepper and chili. Red bell pepper oil. and chili instead of yeah, palm oil. Of Fantastic. Palm oil. Then I'm going to be using sea salt. Okay. To taste. Sea salt yes. to taste. For the onono. Mm. Okay. Now let me introduce the rest recipes that I'll be using for the fresh fish stew. That is the fresh fish stew I decided to eat with oh, no, no, this oh, no, morning. No. Mm. So I have fresh tomatoes with red boss scotch bonnet, okay. red bell pepper, red chili, and ginger and garlic and plenty of onions oh, all fantastic. blended fantastic. Together. Fantastic. together and boiled very dry because I'm not going to be frying with oil. So mm -hmm. I boiled it to remove the sour taste. Then I'm going to be using fresh mackerel. Fresh mackerel. mackerel fish. Yeah, okay. that is what I'll be using this morning. Then I have my holly leaf. That is for the fresh fish stew. Oh. I have the holly leaf. This is the sliced one, and this is the fresh one. This is what it looks like. The fresh holly leaf. leaf. Yes. Okay. Then I have a uh, grounded crayfish. Crayfish. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Then here I have the scent leaf. Oh, this is what scent leaf, and this Looks is like... fresh. Yeah, this is the sliced one, fresh scent leaf. Then I have my ginger. You have a okay. ginger. Then here I have uh, just one bulb of purple oh, onions. No. That is what I'll be using because I've already added a lot in the pepper that I okay. blended. Okay. So I'll be adding a little paprika. Okay, and then our cajun spice. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you all the. So these are all the recipes for the on -on -on. Oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. Interesting. For the on -on -on. So I'm still going to do a quick recap on this when I'm about to cook that too. So for the baked donuts, for the baked donuts, I'll be using a bread flour for we the baked bread flour. Yeah, our bread flour. Okay. Then mm -hmm. I'll be using dry yeast. Dry yeast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then here, I'll be using cinnamon, just a little. I love okay. the flavor. I'll be using cinnamon. Oh, wow. Interesting. Then I'll be using honey. Yeah, I'll be using honey. Yeah. yeah. Honey instead of sugar. Then here is my coconut milk. Oh, interesting. Love okay. it. Mm. Then I'll be using sea salt, too, sea just salt. a little. Okay. Then I have my nutmeg. Oh, yeah, wow. nutmeg. Then this, I'll be using this orange juice. And the lime juice to mix with the honey just to grizzle or to diesel the honey on top of the donuts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Instead of sprinkle white sugar. White sugar. So exactly. I prefer to use honey then to diesel the whole thing. So these are all the recipes mm -hmm. for the donut, baked donut. Okay, now quickly again, have to wash my hands. Wash your hands again. again. So guys, can you see? She has to wash her hands again. Wash your hands again. Wash her hands again. So for our viewers, just to remember. Reminder, we are here in Lagos, Nigeria, Exile Region, uh, Victoria Island office in VI. Exactly. That's where the Salad Master office is. And for those of you that are watching us on the YouTube for the first time, please don't hesitate to subscribe and then also uh, share with people, family and friends, because they will tend to benefit a whole lot from watching 
the show. Okay, right here in Lagos, Nigeria, the program has been partly sponsored by Salad Master. Okay, thank you so much, Salad Master. We do appreciate you for giving us this platform to share with our viewers how to make sure their food is their medicine yeah. using our various Nigerian delicacies. Over to you, Dr. Thank Mr. you, Mr. Tunde, our amiable nutritionist. Thank you okay, so now much. I have to quickly put the yam and the plantain on the fire. While that is cooking, then we, we get started with the donuts. Okay. okay. So we have to pick the yam and the plantain. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So this is yam. This is fresh yam. This is already washed already. But I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how I got to achieve this clean looking yam. Clean so looking yam. yam. Can you so hear that? Is a vegetable. I use this vegetable, then you just splash some water on top of the yam. And then it wash wet. it. And then as you are washing, you open the tap, then you'll be scrubbing it. Oh, interesting. This vegetable brush. Scrub, scrub, scrub until you make sure that all the sand and all the dirt is out of the yam. Because in Salad Master, we don't peel any two exactly. back crops. Okay, we don't peel any So, two like she's crops. rightly saying, most of our tuber crops, the medicine are just around the skin. Mm -hmm. So, when you peel them, when you peel them, you lose about 50% of the medicine. Mm -hmm. So, yam is one of the amazing tuber crops we have. So most times when you want to peel, you take some portion of the yam alongside with the skin. And about 50% of the medicine is this. So that's why we don't peel. Coupled with the fact that yam is one of the amazing superfoods we have, which belongs to the carbohydrate groups. And it's uh, actually very, very high in fiber. It's good carbohydrates. Yam is complex carbohydrates and it has medium glycemic index. So most people would usually have the mindset that um, Yam is very high in carbohydrate sugar, it will increase my blood sugar level. Yes, it does have good sugar, it's complex carbohydrates, and it takes time to build up in the system. Mm -hmm. But it's also high in lots of amazing other nutrients like potassium and the like. So we wouldn't advise you to completely take out your yam. Maybe if you're a diabetic or something, you can at least still try to dispatch which is something we're going to be showing you. Couple the fact that it's medium glycemic, we're still going to dispatch by trying to moisturize it. So which is where you're going to be seeing what Chef Jessica is mm -hmm. doing now. So I'll be cooking this plantain with the skin on. The skin I don't want on. to remove the skin. Oh, so you choose. You to, naturally on the skin. On the skin, so exactly. I'll just prepare to so, cook it with the skin. And that's because plantain is above the soil. So it's not like the nutrient is around the skin, but she has chosen. Now it's a choice. So you could choose to cook with the skin on. I put the fact that plantain is also very nutritious. It has lots of amazing good health benefits. Plantain is high in lots and lots of amazing fiber as well. Now, we're talking about fiber, fiber, fiber. Fiber is actually good for the system. It helps for the bowel movement, for easy bowel movement. I would literally say that we need about 40 grams of fiber per day. Okay, so I don't know if you're counting, but don't miss out on the amount of grams uh, of fiber you need per day. Mm -hmm. So now to cook this plantain and the yam, I'll be using our wonderful salad master to be healthy system yeah. called the three quarts. Yeah, that's the salad master, amazing three quarts. Three now quarts. the three quarts as an insert, the three quarts as an insert, you can right. see like a church pan. Exactly. So what you need to do is to put the church pan in there, put a little bit of water, right? Yeah, I'm going to add about an inch of water. water. Well, guys, can you see that? That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. This is looking like you're steaming, but you're not steaming because you're not steaming at 100 okay. degrees. So and then, then I have to your... put the yam. And this yam, I'm going to pound it. So I'm going okay. to still cook it with the skin With the skin on. on. Yeah. So can you imagine we're cooking that with the skin on? So what we're basically doing now is we are moisturizing. Now, it looks like steaming. People will say, I'm steaming. Yeah, when you're steaming, you're steaming at 100 degrees. And at 100 degrees, you are losing some key nutrients. So because we want our food to be our medicine, and we don't want to lose the nutrients, we decide to moisturize. And we're moisturizing at 86 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature enough to retain the medicine in the food, to retain the nutrition in the food. And the idea for us is to maximize the nutrients in the food, okay? So that's why we have chosen to moisturize. So we have uh, yam, thin slice there, and our, pota our, sorry, our plantain. But yam and plantain is also high in potassium, which is good. 
very, very healthy. And all these more are complex carbohydrates than for those that are diabetic. Now, this time I will say maybe you take on ripe plantain. Now, depending on your health condition and depending on the type of plantain, it varies as they are ripening up from being unripe to averagely ripe and very, very ripe. When it's very, very ripe, and it's soft, and you see that the skin of the, the, the skin of the plantain has changed from very green to golden to now like dark black patches. Now the, the sugar content is increasing. Okay, so I'd advise you take it when it's averagely ripe, or maybe when it's unripe, preferably for those that are diabetic. So this is it. And after putting it, make sure that this uh, canary basket is not having contact with the water. So there's no contact, there's no with, contact the with the water. Can we all see that? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then we close it. Wow, mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's it, guys. That's it, guys. It's been amazing so far. Now we can see how we get to moisturize our yam and our plantain. Okay, because we're going to be using it for onionu, right? Yeah, onionu. Onionu. On, no, no. Okay, pardon me for that. It's been exciting so far because I, I have not eaten, I've not tasted it before, and I'm going to taste it today. So what are we doing next? So Jessica? the next one I have to quickly mix the donuts. Okay. Yeah, quickly mix the donuts. So we're mixing the yeah. donuts. The donuts. So what are we doing? Do I get anything yeah, yeah. from you? Bring all the whole. Okay. So we have uh, dry yeast. We have uh, orange. We have uh, nutmeg. We have uh, honey. Super excited, guys. We have our sea salt. I'm sure we need sea salt. Yeah, using the sea salt. We have our sea salt and then our cinnamon, cinnamon powder. Yeah. Fantastic. And then our coconut milk, milk. guys. Coconut milk. I think that's all for our uh, uh, donuts. Yes. The donuts. So, first thing, okay. this is the bread flour that I'll be using. Yes. First, I have to add the dry ingredients for us the dry ingredients, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and the dry yeast. Okay, cinnamon, nutmeg, and dry yeast. Yeah. So we're gonna add it in and there. Sea salt. Okay. So we are using bread flour. Yeah. Bread flour. So a lot of people will be concerned about what kind of flour do I use because we all have the mindset that the white regular, the regular white flour is unhealthy. Please try it. Okay. So I'll be adding the cinnamon. A pinch of cinnamon, cinnamon. which is actually cinnamon. good. Very very healthy lots of antioxidants and helps with insulin sensitivity. Mm -hmm. So for some people that have blood sugar issues, you know, it can actually help to balance your sugar level. You know, it helps to stabilize the sugar level because it has insulin sensitivity. And the bread flour is actually very healthy. So by using sea salt. So for what quantity of bread flour? It's just this? two cups of flour. Okay. Two cups of two cups of flour. That is equal to milk cup. Milk cup. Yeah. Okay. A cup of this, a cup of this is equal to milk cup. Okay. Yeah, so five of it is equal to one derica. One derica. Yeah. Okay. So, so two of it is equal to two milk cups. Okay. All right. Okay. So you can see that two cups we have there and a pinch for and cinnamon pinch. and also a salt. pinch for sea salt. Mm -hmm. Sea salt is very healthy. It's not going to any from a process, all natural, unlike the regular table salt. And the bread flour is actually very, very nutritious as mm -hmm. well. So we are using our nutmeg. Yes, I'm using the nutmeg. I'm just going to Which is actually it. very healthy too. It helps oh. to boost the immune system as well. Exactly. So it's actually very healthy and it's good source of protein, good source of antioxidants as well. And I wanted to say just something about the bread flour too. Bread flour is high in complex carbohydrates, which is very good. It's high in lots of fiber, which is very good. And it's also high in lots of protein which is very good. It's low in fat and it's low in cholesterol. And most importantly, it's gluten-free. Now I'm sure that's what some of us would be concerned about. Yes, it's gluten-free. So it's healthy. Actually, it's very healthy. So the idea of what we're trying to do is to create some kind of healthy snacks where you don't have to worry about your health because you have cholesterol issue, blood pressure issue, or whatever health condition it is. You don't get to worry about it. We've got you covered for making healthy, okay? All right. So it's been fun so far. What else are we adding to it, Jessica? The next one, I want to quickly mix the dry, the, what's it called now? The dry yeast. The dry yeast together. Okay, so we mix it separately. Yeah, mix it. Okay, so what quantity okay. are, we, are we mixing together? A teaspoon level. A teaspoon level. Yeah. 
So we have a teaspoon level so of dry yeast. You have to mix it with warm water. Okay, so we mix it with warm water. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so by the way, guys, yeast is actually very good. They are good source of healthy bacteria for the gut. Yes, they are good source. You know, sometimes when we hear bacteria, you feel like, oh, it's all bad, bad, bad. So we have good bacteria and we have the bad bacteria. Very, very important, guys. Okay. I have to need all these dry ingredients, the cinnamon and the nutmeg, the sea salt, making sure that all combines together. together. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So you have everything, all the dry ingredients the dry together. Ingredients. Wow, all fantastic. Together. So now I have to mix the honey. Okay. So now we are using honey, not the um, um, normal sugar. So we are using honey. Very, very healthy. So the reason why we are choosing honey is because honey has lots of amazing health benefits. How, what quantity of honey are we using? Mm, depending on the sweet, how you want your donut to be sweet. Okay, fantastic. So we have about a tablespoon. a tablespoon. We have a tablespoon of having honey. Having a tablespoon. Okay, so we're having a tablespoon of honey in our mixed um, dried yeast. So we're adding it there. So the reason why um, Short Jeff just actually chose honey is because it has lots of other amazing health benefits. You know, it's high in good antioxidants. And then it's actually very, very healthy. And the reason why we choose to use honey instead of sugar is because it has medium glycemic index. So it doesn't really increase the blood sugar like the normal white sugar would. Yeah. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that it will not increase your blood sugar. Mm -hmm. So you need to watch the control. How you use your honey goes a long way as yeah. well. So I have to mix all this, just gradually add it. Okay, so now we are mixing the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients together, just gradually. Okay, amazing. Okay, so we have our coconut milk there. So the reason why we have actually chosen so to, to use our coconut and... milk is because it's very healthy, monounsaturated fatty acid, so which helps to actually balance the body's cholesterol. We have the good cholesterol and we have the bad cholesterol. So sometimes when we hear cholesterol, we are feeling like, oh my God, I don't need cholesterol, it's very bad. We have the good one, which is the HDL, high density lipoprotein. And then we have the bad cholesterol. So the more of the good cholesterol we have in our system, the lesser the bad cholesterol we have in our system. So that's the reason why we have actually chosen coconut milk. You could also choose uh, variants of um, either almond milk or tiger nut milk, you know, whatever choice of milk you like, but basically it has to be plant-based. It has to be plant-based, okay? So and the idea is to make this healthy for consumption and then less guilt. You know, I love donuts. I want to eat donut, but I can't eat donut because it's unhealthy. But this time around, we're trying to make it as healthy as possible for your consumption, okay? Exactly. So you can see, so basically what we're doing now is that we're mixing the yeah, dough yeah, together. We have to knead it. We have to do what? Knead it. Oh, we have to knead it. Yeah. Wow, we have to it. Okay. So what you're doing now is more like you are, what's it called? I'm kneading all together, trying to combine all the, the dry and the wet ingredients, ingredients together. together. Okay, fantastic. Then so, I will make this for 10 minutes and allow it to rise oh, for one hour. For one hour, okay. Just like the same process with, uh, with bread, but just that bread that you need to need more. Okay, okay. So the bread will need more kneading. Yeah. Wow, guys, can you see that? Wow, wow. So basically what we're doing now is we're kneading the, the dough. Wow. Guys, I love donuts, but you know, my concern with donuts usually, for, especially for people that have certain health issues, would be first the kind of flour they use. Exactly. 
Exactly. And that's why they strictly have to avoid, apart from the fact that it's high in gluten, which is a major point of concern. You know, people with celiac issues, uh, inflammation, certain kind of inflammations around the lining of the small intestine and the likes are very, very concerned with the kind of uh, product they are eating and they're putting into their system. And that's why they actually uh, abstain from most of all this. But this time around, we choose to use the bread flour, which makes it more healthy. And most importantly, the super amazing thing again is that we are actually going to be uh, frying this with our oil. But we are not used the word fry, we use the word baked. The reason why we choose to do that again is because we are concerned about people that have different health issues, we are actually trying to make sure that we don't use oil. When you use oil, you immerse what you are eating in oil and the calorie content is high. Now, when your calorie content is high, depending on the kind of uh, lifestyle you live as an individual, if you have a sedentary lifestyle, you just uh, wake up in the morning, you go to work, sit on your system from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. thereabouts, depending. You don't work out, you don't exercise, you don't do a lot, and you like to eat things like this, you get to have more calories. And then there's a, what we call calorie deficit. Because you are eating so much oil, the donuts you have soaked and fry in oil. Now, you've added more calories. Now, what happens is that most of these get to store in different parts of our body where they are not needed. And when you store most of the calories there, it begins to accumulate. And before you realize, it's already storing in some parts of the organs, causing different health issues. Uh, cholesterol level will increase because of too much accumulation of calories. Uh, blood pressure level will increase and they will like. So the lifestyle matters. That's why we require you do some movement, engage in some kind of physical activities, workout and the likes. Couple with the fact that we have intentionally helped you to take out the use of oil. Mm -hmm. So now once you need it and all the surface comes out clean, not sticking anymore, then you know that it's well combined and well mixed. You can okay. see? So the surface anything. combined, it comes out, is neat. So guys, can you can see, see that? It. And it's not sticky. And it's, and not, it's not sticky. sticky. And it's fluffy. Yeah. Okay. So you have to leave this in a warm place to rise. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the idea now is to leave it in a warm place yes. to rise. Right. So we can yeah. see that. Okay. So we can just keep that in a warm place to rise. Mm -hmm. And I think we have the one that has risen yes. already. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, guys, can you see something is sticking here? Can you see what is speaking? That's called the vapor valve. Now, this is your medical doctor is calling your attention that the temperature is high enough. So the idea with Salad Master is we cook for medium eight click and return low. Medium eight click and return low. So once your vapor valve is sticking like this, it's calling your attention to you know turn it low. And you know when you turn it low, you don't only save the nutrients which is the medicine in your food, you also save your energy. You don't only save the nutrients, you save your energy. So guys, it's very, very, very important to be observant and take note of all this. Mm. Wow. So Jessica. this is the donut that is made already. So I need to quickly do this. Then we bake it in the electric skillets. Wow, we're baking in our electric, electric skillets. skillets. I'm going to be using a, a baking paper. Oh, we're baking sheets. Okay, so we just carefully place it underneath. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. So we are going to be baking our donut shortly. And guys, remember, like I've been explaining so far, the reason why we are choosing this is to reduce the amount of calories. The amount of calories. A lot of people are complaining about calorie. You know, I need to shed weight. I need to burn weight. I need to lose weight. But guess what? The way we do it for you this time around, you get to lose weight easily because you have reduced the actual intake of calories you are putting in your system. Exactly. So what are we doing now, Chef so Jessica? I'm just going to cut out, then put it in the electric skillet to rise the second time, then we bake it. Oh, so we are going to cut out our mm -hmm. donuts now and put it in the electric skillet to rise. Nice. Wow, fantastic. Guys, can you see that? Wow, wow, wow. This is amazing. This is amazing. So we're going to put it in the electric skillet as well to rise. Okay, guys, can you see our donut is going in there gradually? 
Wow, wow, wow. This is amazing. I'm super excited, guys. Can you see our donut is coming through? Okay, so we are cutting, cutting, cutting our donut, and we're going to let it rise. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. Guys, you know, I would normally think that we just have to fry in oil, but to realize that we can achieve the same purpose without oil is super amazing. Super amazing. So we're going to fix it, the, the quarter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, guys, can you see that? Wow, wow, wow. So Jessica, you are just performing miracles here. <laughs> wow. Guys, this is amazing. You need to actually watch out for this. Practice this. This is how you get your donut. Oh my God, can you see that? Wow. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So we have some healthy donuts going on through there. Very healthy. Good. Uh, we have good um, flour mix. We are using our bread flour. For those of you that are probably just joining, I would have missed out. We actually used our bread flour. We didn't use the normal regular white flour, which is not as healthy. But we are choosing to use our bread flour, which is way more healthier. And then we are not frying in oil. Remember, like I've been saying, when you fry in oil, the calorie content is increased and you're trying to watch out for the calorie intake. You're trying to be careful so you don't get so much calories in your system. And then we're trying also on our own part to make sure that you snack healthy because sometimes most people would love to snack on this. So the idea for us is to make sure that you have it healthy coming your way. So we have our donuts. So we are using our quarter again. Mm -hmm. Wow, guys, can you see that? This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. Guys, can you see that? This is amazing. Wow, wow, wow. So we have our healthy donut coming through. Wow. Guys, can you see that? Wow, wow. Can you see that? This is amazing. And this is not going to go in oil. Like no. the normal donut will go in deep oil. So at what temperature are we going to be? I'm um, going to be baking this at 100. Oh, we are baking this at 100 degrees. Yeah, I'm going to be baking this at 100 degrees. Okay, okay. That's because we're baking. Wow. Guys, can you see our donuts coming through? Interesting. So at so 100 degrees. I'm going degrees. to cover this and light to rise the second time before I start baking. Okay, okay. So at no temperature, there's no temperature yet. Okay. Because the electric flex is still warm. It's still warm. So we allow it to rise before we start baking. Okay, fantastic, guys. So we have our yam coming through. Our yam is done. We have reduced our temperature. Okay, guys, this is amazing. This is amazing. I think the temperature is reduced now when it was clicking. Okay. Yeah. I just have to check it. Okay, fantastic. 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 Wow. So we have a yam. I'm pretty much sure it's ready. it's ready. Wow. It's ready. Wow, this is interesting, guys. This is amazing. This is amazing. So the idea of what we're trying to do here is that we are moisturizing. Now we are using our 316 titanium cookware from the Salad Master. And this is helping us achieve the fact that we cook our food and our food serves us as medicine. We cook our food at certain temperature. So we don't lose the nutritional components in our food. So we are actually making sure that our food is our medicine and our food actually helps us to prevent, manage and reverse different lifestyle diseases that are on the increase, okay? So the idea is make your food your medicine. Let that ring bell in your head every time you are eating. The idea again is to prevent, manage and reverse different lifestyle diseases. So we have our boiled potato, a boiled plantain, plantain, and yam is ready. Yam. It's actually very, very hot, guys. I don't know how to just that does the magic, but it's super, super hot. Wow. So guys, can you see that? There has not been any form of contact. No contact whatsoever with water. And this came out very nice. There hasn't been any form of contact with water, and this is coming out very nice. Wow, this is amazing. Guys, can you see that? 
Can you see that? We have to do it with the skin on, the skin of the yam, likewise the skin mm. of the plantain. Yeah, so I'm going to be pounding. I'm going okay. to be pounding this with a mortar and a pistol. Oh, so we are going to have to need a mortar and pistol. Yes, so That's just what have to be using start cutting it immediately is hot. So that now guys, this is hot. I don't know how Chef Jessica does this, but this is super hot. I'm sure my, my palm will hurt once I do this. <laughs> This is amazing. So now we have a combination of our yam with our plantain. We have a combination of our yam with our plantain coming through. And then we're going to blend this. We're going to pound this together to make our onunu. We're going to pound this together to make our onunu. Guys, I'm so super, super excited. This is interesting. This is coming out nicely. For those of us that, Mr. Madel, are you with us? Hello, yeah, I'm right Mr. here. Adam. I'm right here. And okay. I'm, I'm following the show. Have lots of people as well who are watching on YouTube and on Zoom as well. And they are oh. following the show. Uh, someone just asked one question. Um, just seeing this, someone is asking, I came late on the show. How did you cook the yam um, and the plantain? Just give a recap, please. Okay, so Jessica. Okay. How did we cook the yam and the plantain? Uh, I cooked the yam and the plantain with the skill still on. I washed it with a vegetable brush, then sliced them and put inside our salama sahadi cooking system called the three quarts. And the, the, this in the, the culinary basket, that is the church pan. And then with the plantain. Okay. But so, you can decide to remove the back of the plantain, whichever way you want to. So basically what Chef Jessica has just said is that she actually did the yam together with the plantain. We now three caught the culinary basket. You put some water underneath, make sure the water doesn't come in contact with the item itself because we are truly trying to moisturize. And then you cooked with the skin on because we know that uh, when the skin is on, you are not losing about 50% of the medicine. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Marvel. Okay, thank you guys. Over to you now. Thank yeah. you. So all you just have to do is to pound this together. Okay, can we see you that? Can see that it's very soft. Mm. So you pound this, or just like the same way you pound your pounded yam. Pounded yam. Yeah. So it's more like a pounded yam with mm -hmm. the touch of plantain. Wow. So that's the onunu. So you have to cook your yam and plantain to be very soft. Okay, so viewers, can you see? You have to cook your yam and plantain to be very, very soft to achieve this. And then you pound like you're pounding your yam. Mm -hmm. But this time around, it's a combination of yam and plantain. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. It's a combination of yam and plantain. Wow, wow, that's interesting. So are we done pounding it now? Yeah, I'm done. I want to add the... Uh... I want to add the, the pepper that is the red squash bonnet. So we add the pepper in yes. this mix? In this, because normally they will add palm oil. You palm oil. Bring out the oh, color. the color. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. So which of it? This? Yeah. Okay. So I'll be adding the red bell pepper, the red squash bonnet, and the red chili. Oh, okay. Instead of using palm oil. Instead of using palm oil. Yeah. And by the way, it's more healthy. Oh. You know, because here now we have loads of amazing antioxidants, a lot of amazing vitamins, lots of amazing minerals that will the system will actually benefit from. But when we use palm oil, which is um, still okay, but the idea is that the calories would be high. So we don't want so much calories. That's why we have chosen to use um, our red bell peppers and the likes. So we'll continue pounding as well, right? Until oh, smooth is actually ready. Yeah. Actually wow. Ready and, smooth. and smooth. Guys, can you see, viewers, can you see? It's ready and it's smooth. This is interesting. So is this how we eat it as well? Yeah, you eat it. Oh, wow. Can you see that? So I have to wow. quickly do the donuts now. Oh, so we have to continue baking donuts, our donuts. Yeah. Wow, okay, so we're baking it at a temperature of 100 degrees. Yeah. 
Guys, can you see the electric skillet? Now, this is their super amazing, powerful electric skillet. In Nigeria, we call it the good boy, but in the US, they call it the bad boy. Right. But let's stick with the good boy because we're in Nigeria. That's super amazing, guys. Trust me, we'd want to have this in your kitchen. Without this in your kitchen, it's incomplete. Now, this will actually do a lot. This can actually fry. It can bake, just like you're seeing what we're doing now. We are baking. We are baking in our electric skillet. Remember, 3160 titanium from Salad Master. Now, it's electric skillet, and we are baking. So you can actually bake. You can grill. You can roast. You can fry. You can boil. You can cook. And it's actually a slow cooker as well. Now, when you want to actually, you know, cook your rice at certain temperature, you can actually use this to achieve that. So this is a super duper awesome machine to have in your house. So please, please, please try and try. Once you don't have this, you better start eating the call now. Get across to that person that has invited you. Tell the person, I need a good boy in my house because I think I'm missing out and I've been missing out. So it's enough. I get to have the good boy in my house. So that's the good boy. We are baking our uh, uh, donut at 100 degrees for a particular period of time. Calorie in check. So guys, it's awesome. Super amazing. We're going to be doing something else now. We are done with this. Our onunu is actually ready. And um, what's it called? A big chin chin is actually a big plan. Donut is actually coming through. It's super amazing, guys. I'm super excited. Remember, it's an Excel region by Lagos, Nigeria. The show is probably sponsored by Salad Master. And also, for those of you guys that are joining us on the YouTube for the first time, please don't hesitate to subscribe and then also share with family and friends, okay? Thank you guys for watching. It's been awesome. It's been amazing. I'm super duper excited because I'm learning new things here every day with super amazing Chef Jessica. And the important thing again is that we're trying to make sure we retain the medicine, the key vitamins, the key nutrients, so we can actually boost our immune system. Exactly. A lot of most of these lifestyle diseases are on the increase today. And the idea is to use our food to combat them. The idea is to use the natural food as medicine to actually prevent. Because like you know, like I know, prevention mm -hmm. is actually the best cure. Exactly. But we can successfully manage and reverse. Over exactly. to you, check this. All right. Thank you, Mr. Tinde. Now I have to start with the onunu. I mean, yeah. With the stew. So I have to start with this stew. I'll be shredding these onions with the salad master machine. Wow, we have our salad master machine. Guys, this is another super amazing piece. Mm -hmm. You need to have this in your kitchen because without this in your kitchen, your kitchen is not complete. complete. So she's actually rinsing one of the cones. The salad master food processor comes in five different cones. The cone one to cone five. And this actually gives different shapes and sizes about almost 250 different shapes and sizes, depending on what you're looking out for, okay? And it works manually. One turn is like about six to seven person chopping at the same time. That makes your job fast. So what we're gonna be doing now, we're gonna be shredding our we're onions. Shredding the onions, salad master machine. I love this machine, a whole lot. And guess what guys, the machine is for free. Yeah, it's for free. So exactly. you can come and grab yours now. You know, like when they make an advert in the movie and they say, grab your copy now. So guess what? You can actually come and grab your copy now because the machine is actually free. It's awesome. You need this machine in your kitchen. You're going to see how it's going to cut very smoothly and very nicely. Exactly. So I'll be cutting these onions using cone number two. Comes with five different cones, sizes and shapes. Guys, can you see that? Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. It's awesome. It's fantastic. Very easy. Very, very easy. Very short period of time. Normally, you would be in the kitchen and be chopping and be crying and be chopping and be crying. But guess what? This is very, very easy. It cuts your kitchen time in half. Exactly. And I'll be using code number one to... Uh, shred the ginger. I've already washed ginger with the vegetable broth, just like the same way I wash the yam. Okay. And you know, we've not, you know, taken the skin off because yeah. most of the medicine just around the skin. 
It's very herbal. Ginger is actually very medicinal. It's high in lots of antibacterial properties, antiviral properties, anti-fungus uh, properties, and a whole lot. Ginger actually helps to boost your immune system, okay? And ginger also has good amount of anti-inflammatory properties. Exactly. For those that have arthritis, some certain pains on the knee, on the joints, when you consume more and more of this, it helps mm. to ease the pain. Exactly. So this is our uh, onions and ginger shredded with the salad master food processor using code number two for the onions and code number one for the ginger. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we have our onions and our ginger, very healthy, super amazing food. Both of them help to boost our immune system. And guess what? You have used our amazing food processor. I sure you'd like to have this in your house. Do you see the way I'm turning it? Super easy, super fast. So one ton of this is like seven or eight people chopping, which makes your uh, work fast. So it cuts your kitchen time into half. So please, it's free. So try and find a way to get this in your kitchen. Exactly. Okay, now I'm going to be using our salad master healthy cooking system called the 10 quarts. Okay. okay. This is our tank where you can see how deep this is. Okay. It's that can deep. fit a baby, yeah. actually. We're going to be in our mm -hmm. tank port, and our tank, tank port port is nine liters. Yeah. Nine liters. Guys, can you beat that? Nine liters. Very, very nice. I'm sure you need this in your house. You can use it to do jollof rice. You can use it to do fried rice. You can use it to make your soups. You can use it to make your stew like you're watching us do yeah. now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is preheated already. I'm going to... They fry this ginger and garlic inside this. Without a single drop of oil. Can you beat that? Without a single drop of oil. So we're actually getting these come out in their own juice. Wow, this is amazing. Guys, the idea of what we're trying to do now is we are bringing them, we're bringing the juice of the ginger and the garlic, I can feel the aroma already. I can feel the aroma, it's coming nicely. It's coming out very nicely and soothing. And remember guys, they all have amazing, amazing nutritional values in there that we need to maximize and get the best out of. So we have our garlic and we have our ginger and our onions coming through very nicely. Guys, can you see the juice? Wow, this is interesting. So the next thing we're doing- So the next thing I'm one. going to do now is to add the blended pepper, the tomatoes, and the red scotch bonnet, and this is very spicy. Let me add a little water because I don't want us to be shaking on pepper. Yes, if not, we are going to choke. <laughs> so guys, can water. you see that just a little? Yeah, so we don't choke on pepper. We don't choke on pepper. Mm -hmm. Just like pouring it in. Wow. So we have uh, bell peppers, the red cut bonnet chili pepper, and the likes. Yeah, and it's fresh yeah. tomato, ginger, and garlic. Fresh tomato, ginger, and, and garlic. And this is boiled already oh, okay. because I'm not going to fry this before. So I boil this to be dry to remove the sour taste. Okay. Fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So, guys, remember we have some amazing nutritional value here. We have uh, antioxidants, so much antioxidants in our pepper and then in our tomatoes combination. And it's really helping to push the immune system, prevent certain kind of illnesses, you know, and also help in managing them. Wow, that's interesting. So we allow this to boil and yeah. simmer for a while. So, so we're going to add the sea salt. Okay, sea salt for taste. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. And then um, other natural condiments mm -hmm. spices. So the reason why we choose to add sea salt, like I always say, is all natural, okay? It's not gone through any form of process at all. And that's why, so you see the quantity of sea salt? Wow, fantastic, fantastic. So please, please, please try as much as possible to get your sea salt and then use less of the mm -hmm. table salt. So I'll be using paprika. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're well, using our paprika. paprika. Wow, can you see that? Mm -hmm. What else are we adding? Then I'm adding the cajun spice. Okay, 
So we're adding our cajun spice cajun as well. Spice. Fantastic. That's amazing. Fantastic. So we have our paprika and our cajun spice. What else are we adding? Yes, oh, then I'll add a little cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Oh, I so just love the flavor or rather the aroma. So I'm just going to add like more of a pinch. Okay, so we have a pinch of cinnamon because that pinch is even very, very active. Mm -hmm. It's going to so come out. The, exactly. the taste is going to so be cinnamony in exactly. nature. Don't mind my English cinnamony. Mm -hmm. So the tree is a little bit thick. I don't want thick. I don't want it to be too thick. So I'm okay. still going to add some water. So we have some water in there. Add some water, then I'll add the fresh fish. The fresh mackerel. Mackerel. Already oh, seasoned. Already seasoned. Then we see salt. We see salt, okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be adding our fresh mackerel. It's good source of protein as well. Good source of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, okay? So guys, you need to eat more of your fish. Wow. So we have it going on in there. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so now Jessica, this will actually boil alongside yes, with the alongside stew. Too. So no need to fry, boiling it for again, start adding it again. Just cook everything direct, uh, directly. Directly. All okay. together. Okay, fantastic. So that, that all the juice can actually infuse into the fish, the pepper, the sea salt, and the lives. Okay. okay. And it comes so, out more thick. That so way. all the juice are infusing in yes. there. Oh, okay, wow, that's fantastic. I guess we're adding our like, um, crayfish as yeah, well. Add the crayfish. Guys, you know what's amazing here? We hadn't used any form of uh, oil, no single drop of oil, and no single form of seasoning cubes. So we had to use our crayfish to give it that, you know, nice taste that we are looking out for. Wow, this is amazing. This is very, very healthy. So we had to cover? Yeah, we have to cover this and allow it to cook for 10 minutes. Oh, wow, fantastic. So we have to cover that and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, guys, 10 minutes. So we still have our sink. Yes, I'll say that would be the last thing I'll put there. The last thing to add there. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Guy, it's been amazing so far. It's been super interesting and exciting. What's the next thing we're going to be doing now? That is all. Okay. So we are just waiting for the donuts to bake and then the umami is ready. I think we need to work on the temperature for the donuts as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because so. so yeah, we are working on uh, healthy meals, how to make sure that we eat healthy, how to make sure that um, we retain the medicine in our food, how to make sure that our kitchen remains our clinic. So by the way, first thing, I would like to appreciate Salad Master. Thank you so much, Salad Master, for probably sponsoring this show. It's been awesome, it's been amazing. We really do appreciate you, Salad Master for giving us this wonderful platform to reach out to everybody, to share with them the medicinal properties and also the value of eating LV, the value of making sure that your food is your medicine. Thank you, thank you so much, Salad Master. And for those of us that are probably just joining, just a reminder, we're in Lagos, Nigeria, Victoria Island, that's the Salad Master office, and this is Exer region. This is Exer region. And also guys, Amazingly, Salad Master has amazing promos for us this weekend. Remember, I said the food processor, the food processor. For those of you that are interested in the food processor, please, please, please get the, on the call now, get across to the person that has invited you so the person can tell you how to get this. This is actually free. Remember, like I told you, without this in your kitchen, your kitchen is not complete. So you need to find a way to get this in your kitchen as well. Also, the electric spillet that we actually are using today, it's on promo. And then we have limited in stock. So you need to make sure you quickly call and ask, how do I get my electric spillet? What do I do to get my electric spillet? Because you need that electric spillet in your kitchen as well. Okay, Chef Jessica, what are we going to do now? Yes, so the, uh, the donut is baking there already and the oh, no, no, stew is cooking 
and then the oh no no it's red already mixed already so now let's get back to mr marvel and see how okay hi mr marvel, marvel. hi um, it's amazing today i must say that i'm learning some new things from chef jessica and of course our world renowned nutritionist thank you very much for the information today uh we have someone on uh youtube there's someone says that that's our own chef jessica well done mr tunde and also um someone says i'm loving this especially the yam and plantain cooking without water right and that's what salad master actually helps us do now one question someone is asking uh they said they don't seem to understand the bread flour please explain the content of the bread flour thank you all right chef jessica the bread flour now actually the bread flour is the flour we are chosen to actually uh bake the what's it called the donut now normally normally we would use our regular white flour which is not healthy now the reason majorly is uh the fact that it's high in gluten now a lot of people are concerned with some health issues you know especially when it comes to celiac people with celiac problems celiac issues which is inflammation on the lining of the stomach so we are choosing to use bread flour instead of the normal regular white flour and that's because bread flour is also high in complex carbohydrates is high in fiber it's high in protein is high in uh, it's low in fat and cholesterol and there is no gluten it's gluten free so that's why we are chosen to use the bread flour to actually uh, bake our donuts Okay, yeah. so now Chef Jessica will now explain the different ingredients that has been added to the bread flour to achieve the mixture of a dough. So can you explain the yeah, different let me, ingredients? Let me, let me quickly do a recap on the donuts. Yeah, then we do a recap on the onono stew and then the onono. So for the uh, baked donuts, I use bread flour to baked do do not i use bread flour i use cinnamon i use nutmeg i use sea salt i use coconut milk and then i use sea salt and then dry it to make the baked do not then for the onion uh, for the stew that is the fresh fish uh, fresh fish stew i use fresh mackerel fish i use a uh, bell pepper red squash bonnet red chili and some fresh tomatoes ginger and garlic and plenty of onions boiled all together very dry to remove the sour taste from the tomatoes then i use a uh, cap of uh, paprika i use cinnamon i use sea salt i use cajun spice then i use uh, onions again for the for the stew then i'm when the stew is ready i'm going to be putting curly leaf and then scent leaf depending on what you want you can even use a uh, fresh fish pepper soup to eat the donut depending on what you can use you can use soup maybe like okra soup uh granola soup melon soup you can depending on what you want to use depending on what you want to use. but i decided to use fresh fish soup for this onion soup so very soon less than two minutes the onion soup will be ready and the donut will be ready then we are all done cooking. then we are all done cooking wow fantastic 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 it's amazing here so far and guys guess what you know i told you i always said that the idea of what we're trying to do here is to make your food your medicine and to make your kitchen your clinic yeah. now the idea is that your your kitchen like i said when you just was washing her hands i said when a doctor is planning to go for surgery you know what they do is they sterilize their hands yeah. so the idea is that we are in a mini clinic in the house yeah. and that's what the goal is for us so without wasting much of our time we had intentionally made sure that a medical doctor yes a medical doctor is actually joining us on the show so we're not just sharing with you um, very interesting uh, nigerian delicacy we're not just also sharing with you some major nutritional value we are also having a medical doctor in with us to also share with us the value to our health eating this way how it affects our health positively 
So without wasting much of our time, I'll be calling uh, Dr. Dolly to join us in the clinic, in our little mini clinic. Please, a round of applause for Dr. Dolly, Dr. Dolly, Dr. Dolly, Dr. Dolly. Bye. Hello, Dr. Dolly. Bye. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to have you. It's good to have you. Okay, you know what's going to happen? Because you're just joining. Let me come to this side and you stay in the middle. Okay. okay. Wow. Exactly. So I think the equation is balanced now. Exactly. I can't, I couldn't wait to be here because I've been tortured with the aroma of. You can imagine. You know? <laughs> and it's not just you know, the sweet scented aroma, it's also healthy. Yeah. Very and that's healthy. always what we sell here in Salad Masters. You can see the cooking wet, you can see the food, you can see what it does. So the thing is about using your brain to prevent your diseases. And there's another program we also have, your billion dollar body. How you take care of this body using your food. Exactly, can you imagine your billion dollar body? Now, Dr. Tony, why would you say, why would you call it a billion dollar? Oh my God. That's because it's priceless. <laughs> Billion dollars is not even enough. It's not enough. Yes. It's not enough. It's not so, enough so to take care of your body. Basically, I would say it's more than a billion dollars. Oh, yes. Exactly. It's invaluable. Invaluable. It's invaluable. So like, anything you will invest to keep it running smoothly, I encourage you to do that. Exactly. Wow. Yes. Exactly. Wow. Fantastic. Wow. And wow. Um, Jessica is here to teach us the right way to use mm. this utensil. Because mm. when you get it, do you know how to put it into good use? That is what matters. Put it into good use so that your body will grab the immense benefit that is impregnated by nature into food. Wow. Oh, can you wow. imagine? Wow. Impregnated wow. by nature. Wow. Not by nature. Nature, that's God's doing. So the idea is to keep our medicine in our food. Wow, mm -hmm. fantastic. Fantastic. Dr. Dolly, I'm so super excited to have you on this show this morning. Wow. I'm so super I'm excited. Happy to be here. Exactly, exactly. So like I was expressing to our viewers that the idea is uh, making our food our medicine. Yes. Now we have been achieving a lot so far. Two most important things here now. We've been able to achieve cooking our stew without a single drop of oil. You yeah. don't see. Exactly. Wow. And we've been able to achieve um, baking or let's say frying, the word frying our uh, uh, donuts, donuts without a single drop of oil. And oh. I was trying to share with how much calories. By the time you soak the donut in oil, okay. you have more calories. By the time you put so much oil, you have more calories. Maybe you could just share just one or two tiny, you know, medic from the medical doctor's perspective, when you had to actually eliminate this fat, grease, and oil that the body doesn't actually need. Just in two. Oh, two yes. Seconds. Like I was saying, I can't, I want to, but I couldn't give a full lecture on hypercholesterol. But we do have it on YouTube on your million dollar body, what it does to the body. Now, let me just break it down a little bit. Now, when there's too much oil, too much cholesterol in the body, first of all, it goes on to the blood vessels and clocks the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. Clocking means it blocks it. And now, when your heart doesn't get enough supply of blood, it can't beat functionally and it can't supply the whole body. And that's when you start having problems. If you have reduced blood supply to the brain, it manifests as stroke. If you have it in the heart, it does as cardiac arrest. If it comes to the nerves, it comes as numbness and pain. If it comes to the leg, you have gangrene. There's so much. If it comes to the um, um, stomach, you have ulcer. All of that, it is an advanced, it, it's a systemic thing. So when you have too much lipid, too much oil in your system, it affects every single organ in the body. So, and managing it, usually there's no cure. So you manage it till you die. So, it's medicine. Yes. Medicine. So the only thing is prevention, prevention, prevention. And how best do you prevent work? Just to, you prevent it by taking care of your food. Exactly. Turning your food into your kitchen. Like this now, this is um, a picture of a heart. And these are the small vessels of the heart. Now, if there's too much fat going on here, it's going to block here. And when this juncture is blocked, anything, all these places that this artery is, they supply maybe this whole area. This whole place is dead. Exactly. This whole place is dead. So it is, it is practical. When we are talking about it's not theoretical, it's practical. And the first thing you have here is chest pain. It comes, chest pain. The person, you, you get weak. You can't carry a bucket of water. It is that serious. So what we do here should be taken seriously. We should encourage it. And that's why I love Salad Masters, helping us to live healthy. And once you are in the middle age, let's say from 40 down, you really need to 
check out what you're putting on inside your body. Because once this thing, okay, this is the heart. And once all these places, now this is a smaller one. Once this place, the, the level of cholesterol that you will have that will block this place takes, stops this whole heart. It's a function. That simple. And when, when you have it, you have cardiac arrest, the person just slumps. And if you're not taken to the theater as soon as possible to open this up and remove this thing to, to open this up again and remove this blockage, the person is dead. So you hear it from our uh, one and only Dr. Dolly. So now the idea is to start managing, okay. to start managing, yeah, to start is, managing. This is it. This is it now in full picture. This is a vessel that is very good. This is a person that has hypercholesterolemia type 1. It is there, but if you reverse and stop using excess vegetable oil that you can see here and other things that give you excess oil in the body, if this can be reversed, this can also be. But at this stage, the person will I don't know, it's only a miracle. Miracle, miracle, miracle. miracle, miracle. There you go, you heard it already miracle. from our doctor. You heard it already from our doctor. And this is why Salad Master is here, to actually help prevent. Like I always say, prevention is the best cure. That's if it. they ask me, does anything, I say prevention is the cure. That is it. Prevention is just the cure. Because we try not to predispose yourself. Once you're there, you can only manage yourself. How do you manage yourself? It's a choice. Do you don't manage yourself with loads of drugs, or to manage yourself with food Ooh. and then reverse. And that's where we are coming into. Because you still have to eat anyways. Okay. Either you like it or not, there's a reason why you have to because you are hungry. Mm -hmm. So this summer, why not channel the energy to eating healthy to make sure you are able to manage your health and reverse most of these exactly. lifestyle diseases. Thank you so much, Dr. Dolly. Thank, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been awesome, it's amazing. Thank Do you want to run away already? <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, but I would love to be people with this one last word, there's always a right way of doing everything. Exactly. There's always a right way to eat your food. There's always a right way to prepare. So please do things the right way. Take your health right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. wow. wow that was wow, a fantastic wow. one from yeah. Dr. Dolly. Like, yeah. you, like, you, like you've seen it now. We're not joking here. Mm. We're serious. We actually want you to make your food your medicine. Your medicine. We want you to reverse most of these lifestyle diseases mm -hmm. just by eating healthy. Mm -hmm. Now let's go over to Mr. Marvel. Let's see if you have some good questions for us. Mr. Marvel. Wow, 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 wow. I was just putting down some notes from Dr. Dolly. Uh, amazing having a doctor in the kitchen. That is quite a phenomenal. I must say that it's amazing and it, it only happens with Salad Master. The exactly. collaboration, the combination between medical science and food has been brought, the fusion has been made perfect with Salad Master. And uh, I just have one question someone has asked. Uh, Dr. Dolly is quite unfortunate she's out of the, the kitchen for now, yeah. Uh, someone says, um, I, you have behind you every time you eat, you're either eating to feed diseases or fight diseases. Now, the question is, how do we feed diseases? Oh, wow, okay, fantastic. Okay, so Dr. Dolly is not here, but I can either try to answer in place of Dr. Dolly. Yeah, you can attempt it as a nutritionist. You can attempt okay. it. <laughs> so now, like she rightly asked, like, uh, right, Dr. Dolly said, you can either feed disease or you are fighting disease. Now, when it comes to feeding disease, how do we feed disease? By the time you are eating unhealthy, that means you're feeding disease. Now, we are trying to make sure that we are eating healthy. That means we are fighting disease. Now, by eliminating some certain unhealthy things from our diet, that means you are not going to be feeding the disease. So when you take too much oil, too much cholesterol, which is what is too much oil, will predispose you to high cholesterol. Too much oil will make you overweight. Too much oil stored in the system will actually cause some of these diseases that Dr. Dolly lightly mentioned in terms of um, high, blood pressure, high blood pressure, different cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, stroke, and the likes, depending on wherever it's occurring. So you are feeding disease by overdoing it, by putting all these unhealthy things in your meal. And that's why we have chosen to eliminate them completely from our diet so that we don't feed the disease. Instead, we fight the disease. Instead, we deprive the diseases. 
by eliminating most processed chemical condiments, spices, and the likes, we are depriving the disease. So you are not even feeding the disease. By eliminating too much oil from your system, you are depriving the disease, okay? So the idea is to make sure that we deprive the disease uh, de deprive um, the disease by not feeding them with what will facilitate their growth. Take for instance, we didn't use sugar. Now, when you use sugar, you are feeding the disease. Sometimes some people might be um, predisposed to having some cancerous cells growing. When there is so much sugar in the body, it facilitates the growth of the cancer cells, okay? That's why we did not even use sugar when it comes to baking the, uh, what's it called? The donut. The donut, when it comes to baking the donut, okay? So, and that's because diabetes mellitus. So the idea for us now is to deprive the disease and um, prevent them from occurring in our body system, okay? okay? So without wasting much of our time, I think we need to view what yeah, we've been doing yeah, so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's time to, the stew is almost ready. So, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow guys, wow. can you see that? Wow, That's wow, amazing. Wow, wow, That's wow, really wow, amazing. Wow. wow, wow. I can perceive the aroma mm. here. This is coming out very nicely. Yeah, yeah. So it's time to add this colony. Okay, this is the slice one and this is the one here. Just want to show you what it looks like. Wow, this is amazing, guys. Can you see that? This has come out really well. I can right. perceive the aroma the from aroma. here already. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I yeah. feel the energy. Mm -hmm. So we are adding our curry leaves yeah, in the there. Leaves and also the scent leaves. Okay, we are going to be having our scent leaves as well. Wow, wow, guys, can you imagine? Now, all these have some very fantastic health benefits. You know, I, I'm always super excited when you're having greens around because, most importantly, they help to boost our immune system. They are in good micronutrients that the body actually needs. You know, so now I have to turn off the heat because the vegetables is easy. I don't want to lose any nutrients. From exactly. The so, we're going to reduce to the lowest yeah. or turn it off basically. So we are reducing to the lowest. Mm -hmm. So we have all our iron, our zinc, our folate, in our sink leaf. All our micronutrients are intact. Wow. So that means it's ready. It's ready now. That's interesting. So to it's ready and we have pounded it already. We have already. Yeah. What about our baked donuts? Donuts. Exactly. Let me help you with that. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just keep this on the side. Exactly. So we have um, the baked donut. Right, so let's let's check our baked donut. Okay. Wow. The baked this donut is, is ready. This is amazing. Yeah. Guys, can you see that? Comes out very nice. Very wow. Wow. We have yeah. our baked donut. No single drop of oil. Of very, oil. very healthy. So quickly now, I have to use the orange juice and then the lemon zest. Mix them together with the honey and then just use it to grease you on top of the donut instead of spilling sugar. Oh, wow. So we use uh, the juice from our orange mm -hmm. to drizzle instead of using um, that of the sugar to sprinkle, yeah. which is unhealthy, basically. And this is more healthy. This exactly. is way more healthy. And when you use your orange, you have lots of vitamin C in your orange. And guess what? We all need that super amazing vitamin C because it actually helps to boost your immune system as well. And we need it so badly. So the fact that Chef Jessica is adding it in our donuts, wow, it's amazing. This is mind blowing. I've never really seen this happen before. So we're gonna get some of the content from our- Yeah, some of the, le some of the juice from the lemon, from the lime. From the lime. And some of the juice from the orange. Yeah, and guess what? The combination of this lemon, this lime and orange the orange will give it some sweetness, mm -hmm. and then the lemon, uh, the lime will give it some sour taste. sour taste. So it's a mixture of sweet and sour. Wow, this is amazing. That's why I say Jessica is just too much. That's why I say she's just too much. So we're Thank going to you. be combining with yeah. a little bit of honey. honey. Wow, so no sugar. Now this is when we say, we are not feeding the disease. Mm -hmm. Now, this time around, we are fighting the disease because we are consuming what is going to suppress the growth of the disease, whatever the disease is. Mm -hmm. We are feeding them with what will not facilitate their growth. So all you do is just mix, yeah, it's just mix together. together. 
And when it tastes, it actually tastes like cereal. It tastes like cereal. Mm -hmm. Wow, can you imagine? This is amazing. I'm sure a lot of our viewers are actually learning so much, so much, so much from today. Wow, and see the color, it comes out very well. So now it's time to dish all the food, then I'll just, you cannot just dip your donut there and eat it with it. Oh, or, or you can it. now dress it, drizzle yeah. it, and you know, make it comes out very nice. Exactly. Guys, it's been super amazing. For those of us that are just joining, uh, the program has been proudly sponsored by Salad Master. And then thank you so much for giving us this platform to reach out to our people, to share with them on how they can retain about 93% of the medicine in their food and then prevent, manage, and reverse different lifestyle diseases that are on the increase today. And just to remind that we're in Lagos, Nigeria, Excel region, and then Victoria Island. That is where the Salad Master Office is in Victoria Island, okay? And for those of you that are just joining us on YouTube, please, please, and please try as much as possible to hit the subscribe button and also share with families and friends across so they could always get a notification and also maximize from uh, maximize most of the health benefit we try to share across to them okay exactly. and also we're using a salad master cookware 316 di titanium material which actually helps to prevent pollution super amazing just a reminder again we're in victoria island office we are in Victoria Island office, Lagos, Nigeria, in Excel region. So, so Jessica, what are we doing? Now? Yeah, I'm going to dish all the food now okay, from the on on to the yeah. So we're dishing all the food. All the food. Now. So we have our on on no, which is nice. Wow, super nice. amazing. So we have our yam and our plantain. Our plantain wow. and yam cooked together cooked and pounded. together and pounded. Wow. And pounded. Wow, guys, can you see that this is amazing? This is super amazing. So and you eat this with this, uh, the fresh fish stew. You eat it with the fresh fish stew. Yeah. Okay, wow, 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 that's amazing. So let's see what Chef Jessica's got for us. Wow, this is nice, guys. Can you see that? I'm so loving this. This is coming up very nice. This is nice. I'm super excited. I'm super, super excited to have this coming through. A healthy way of eating. Remember, guys, normally you would add palm oil in here, but we hadn't added any palm oil. So the calorie is in check. Now, to make sure that this is healthy, Reduced um, um, strong ripe plantain, not very ripe not plantain, very ripe. but it's averagely ripe, so it's still strong and firm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you could actually choose to use unripe plantain. It's just a choice. Yeah. yeah. So this is our nono. So our nono is our ready. Is ready. And then so we're going to be dishing that I'm stew. Going to be dishing the stew. Wow, this so is I'm amazing. I'm going to be the fresh fish stew. Fresh fish stew is coming out nicely. Wow. Cooked with fresh tomatoes, fresh, with fresh tomato, bonnet, hmm. curry, and uh, scent leaf, fresh curry leaf and scent leaf. Wow, guys, can you see that? Guys, can you see that? With ginger and onions. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing, guys. This is amazing. Wow, can you see that? This is amazing. I love what I see, guys. I love what I see. So we have our fresh stew to go alongside with alongside our onion. Our onion. Wow, this is amazing. Guys, I'm super excited. I'm super duper excited. And the next thing we're going to be dishing is our baked uh, donut. Very healthy. Very healthy. No single drop of oil. Can you see that? Oh, wow. This looks good. It smells nice. And too. it smells nice. Wow. Wow, guys, can you see that? I'm so tripping here right now. I'm really, really tripping. I'm very... Wow, Chief Jessica, can you imagine? Yeah. Have it so all we nice. can now drizzle the honey 
And oh my God, just all of our guys, can you see that? Oh my God. Oh wow, this looks good. This looks good already, Chef Jessica. You just do the magic. Fill it on. And it comes out fine. And that is all. So these are onions. Uh, super and amazing onions. Onion. And they do not. Amazing, 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 so guys. Amazing, already. amazing. So uh, I don't know if uh, Mr. Marvel is there and you have any question for us. In place of Mr. Marvel, do you have any question for us? Wow, 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 wow. Uh, one of the questions is, how do I get to taste the food? How do I get yes. to taste the food? Okay, it what looks... you do is just get your plate and your spoon ready, and then we're going to dish you from here. Okay? Right, 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 right. Fantastic. I must say that it's it's so glorious and glamorous seeing all of these things done with absolutely no oil and also done in a healthier way. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming on the show from me. I don't have any questions, any further questions, but I am so impressed. And definitely, I'm going to be headed for the studio so I can see if I can get to taste the food. Thank you very much. Over to you guys to wrap up in the studio. Thank you so much, Mr. Marvel. Thank you, thank you, thank you thank so you. much. Now, I think we're done already, but the next thing we're going to talk about now is Chef Jessica. I yeah. think we have another show. What is the other show we have? Yeah, we so have another show on Wednesdays by 6.30 p.m. in the evening. That is Cook Along with the Chef. So what's the difference between Cook Along and um, the Cook School? <laughs> The cook along uh, with the chef on Wednesday, every Wednesday, 6 30 p.m., is where I send out the recipes during the weekend, then send out the recipes and send out the menu. Then you go to market, get the item, then you cook along with me. I'm going to get in all the recipes where they cook from scratch to finish. That is from the raw material to finish product. Exactly. So please, you don't want to miss out on the cook along on Wednesday. And by the way, remember I said the electric skillet is on promo and also the salad master machine. All you need to do is to get on the call and ask the person that has invited you, how do I get my electric skillet? How do I get my salad master machine? And for those of us that are just joining on the YouTube, please, please, please try as much as possible to hit the subscribe button and also share with few families and friends so they could also benefit from exactly. this amazing exactly. virtual healthy exactly. cooking exactly. show. So without wasting much time, we're going to be leaving you today with an awesome mess of this. Woo! And we want you to try it. Yeah, please try it. Try it. You have the people. recipes, you have the ingredients, you have everything. Yeah. So please try as much as possible to enjoy yourself, OK? Yeah. Till we catch you on the next Cook School. Remember, we say medium, medium quick, quick, low, and we go. go. So guys, medium, quick, quick low, and, and we go. go. All right, guys, take care. One more time. Medium, quick, low, and, and we, we go. go.